Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to episode 9 now of our FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia series. Um, today, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a stinker. It is a bit of a stinker between Costa Rica and Serbia and if there's any like people from Costa Rica and Serbia then obviously this game would mean more to you but probably for quite a bit of the rest of the world it's not going to be a game that's going to be like too great. Um, but if you look at um, the group win, which I think is Group E, is this E? Yes, it is Group E. Um, we also have Switzerland and Brazil. That might be next match, or it's the match after, because sometimes it likes to go onto a different group before doing the next one. Uh, it doesn't really necessarily have much order. But anyway, we're going to get into this game today. I think I'm going to take control of Serbia out of the two, because I think there might be more chance for, of um, players that I know. So looking at these kits, home kit for um, Serbia is pretty basic. It's kind of cool though, but the away kit has got a bit more about it. I kind of like it, so we're going to be using that. I do like New Balance kits, but this one's pretty basic from Costa Rica, and so is the away kit, but obviously they're going to be playing in their home kit because their class is it. And already I can see that Nastasic is a player that I know. So let's have a quick look at the team. Okay, so we are playing five at the back. That's pretty interesting. And already I can tell there's a f quite a few players I actually know, like looking at the back, I know Nastasic, I know Ivanovic obviously with his time with Chelsea, I know Kolarov, I know this um, Milinkovic Savic from, is it Lazio or Napoli, um, well it's one of them, um, obviously I know Nemanja Matic, I know um, Dusan Tadic, I know um, Mitrovic, um, plays for Newcastle on loan, who was on loan at Fulham last season, did very well. Um, I even know Kostic. I know um, Milivojevic, um, who I think I'm going to try and play at some, part, uh, at some point. I know Jajic. Uh, um, is there anyone else I know? Just so I can bring... I do know Tosic, but I, I'm not going to use him. And I know uh, Lazar Markovic. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring you into... Or at least onto the bench... Um, as an option, but your pace has gone well down from one of those because you were in the 90s when you first joined Liverpool You've actually lost quite a bit of pace over time. Obviously, you've been on loan to like Fenerbahce um, Hull um, That stamp is shocking so you can be on the bench But other than that, I think I'm gonna start with this team. Obviously, I want to be using um, Their actual formation so five at the back. It's not one that I personally use on FIFA But we're just gonna have to get used to it um, so where are we playing today? We're playing at the Samara Arena in Samara. It's kind of weird how they just make the arenas just at, named after the city they're in. Um, but again, it was one that's actually made purposely for the World Cup, which actually starts tomorrow. And if you haven't heard the news, because at the time of this recording, this is like breaking news. Spain have sacked their manager. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, because he's got an agreement to become the new Real Madrid manager. One day before the World Cup, you decide to sack your national manager. This is good for the likes of like Portugal who are in their group. And as we've seen in this series, um, I'll, I'll press that. Um, as we've seen in the series, Portugal actually beat Spain. So maybe it's an omen that Spain will, might actually struggle. Now they have uh, no national head, um, head coach, which is very strange. And like, to be honest, like I've never really heard of this um, guy who was it, the Spain manager and obviously now he's going to be the Real Madrid manager like with the names that were linked with the Real Madrid manager's job with the likes of Jurgen Klopp, Mauricio Pochettino and even Antonio Conte it's weird that they've gone for this guy yes he well, was the head coach of Spain so that is prestigious but technically he hasn't taken them to a World Cup he's going into um, the Real Madrid job as a huge shock I honestly think Spanish fans will be angry. I think Real Madrid fans will be angry just to the fact that, like, this guy isn't probably who they were expecting. They're, they've just, well, Zidane's just left, who's a huge name, who has won three consecutive Champions Leagues with them. It's it's crazy. But anyway, let's get back to this. It is obviously Costa... Is it Costa? Yeah, it is Costa Rica versus um, Serbia. And... Kolarov is the captain. I, I expect um, Serbia to do bits. I was going to look at the teams, but I, don't, I just wanted to get straight into the game. And it's been, well, I, I played for you for yesterday, but 
first game might be a bit rusty. Normally I like to record like four of these at once and then put four out um, like per day. It means that like every four days I've done like, it would mean that I've got um, like one group stage, group stage match day done, if that makes sense. Because obviously there's eight groups, um, meaning that if I do four, it means it's only four um, days. I've just confused myself. And now Costa Rica are on the break. Do they still have Brian Ruiz in their squad? That's one player that I kind of know just because of his time at Fulham. I think he went to like Sporting Lisbon or something. I, I can't remember what team exactly. Oh, what a ball in. And, okay, Costa Rica do have the lead against Serbia, which is kind of crazy. But it was a great ball in. And, like, I honestly just couldn't get back. Good start by Costa Rica. Maybe I need to just concentrate a bit more. But the keeper, what was he doing? He reacted so late. He could have just come and punched the ball or something straight away. But 1-0 to Costa Rica. And that's one thing I love about this series so far. It's not a full-gone conclusion. But because I'm like managing a team or like taking control of a team, means that they're going to win. Obviously, in the last, I think, four matches, they've all been 2-0s to the side that I have control. So it's kind of nice that this game isn't going to follow that. It could be another 2-0, depending on how I'll do. Mitrovic with a shot, but Kalo Navas, oh yeah, that's one player that I needed to remember is actually in goal. Uh, Costa Rica obviously have just played England at Ellen Road a few days ago, uh, which was England's last warm-up match before the World Cup, and uh, it was only settled really by one goal from Rashford, which was a, a banger, to be fair, from about 25 uh, yards out. Right, Mitrovic, I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes. You're still actually young. Even though, like, we've known your name for quite a while since your move from Anderlecht to Newcastle. It'll be interesting to see if he actually stays at Newcastle next season. I just don't think he is um, part of uh, Rafa's plans. So, it's going to be interesting. Okay, let's go back to him. I'm back again. Matic. Matic. And he's just poked at home on the rebound. And it is one all between Costa Rica and Serbia. The Manchester United holding midfielder made a brilliant run. Good little play between him and Mitrovic. Got back to him. Managed to just get between two players to poke it. Got saved. Came back and he poked it again. He did very well to hold these off. And this is actually a very smart little finish. Just before Navas could get up and react again. The Manja Matic is off the mark. Serbia have got their first goal and this is already a very action-packed game. Every game I've called like a so-called stinker so far have actually been a very good game. I don't think we've had one like poor game. We haven't had a nil-nil yet which is good. Um, obviously one of the main reasons you probably watch this series is to see goals. You want to see the best players score the goals and Matic is one of the best players for Serbia. So uh, yeah, it's nice. I haven't seen much of Kostic yet. Um, on that left side, but five at the back, it means that like Serbia have, are short numbers, um, like at, in attacking. Maybe at half time I can make changes because that's something that I've seemed to do. I've made changes to like formations, made subs at half time just to keep it fresh. Looks like he's got a bit of space here for Kostic, he's got a bit of space to run into. He's found Mitrovic on, on his left foot. Can he bang it? Kalon Navas does well. That's one thing I need to remember, even though it's Costa Rica, they do have. A very good keeper in goal with Kalor Navas. Okay, 35 minutes gone. This game is obviously in the balance right now with me settling into this um, formation a bit more. I think at the start it took me a while. Even five at the back, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be better defensively. I'm just not used to a formation like that. I've never used five at the back. I've never really used three at the back except for like maybe drafts um, on Ultimate Team where you kind of forced to if you pick it. Um, but yeah, I've always been four at the back. It's just my style. Can someone get it? Mitrovic managed to win the header, but no one was there to carry on the move. And yeah, it's just ended. Let's see. Okay, this is good. Collar up. To Kostic. To Mitrovic. Mitrovic has done well to hold it, hold it up. Got Matic on the ball now. Tadic. Ah, that's poor. I might move Tadic into a, like, a cam spot at half time and then also bring on Markovic on the right hand side. I think that could be a good option. Add a bit more pace and then Tadic in probably his best position because he hasn't really got the pace to be an out and out winger. 
But it's one all at half time. Are we going to see a draw? I don't think we've seen many draws. I think the only draw I can think of, at least, was the one all draw, which was the opening game between Russia and Saudi Arabia. So it's going to be very interesting. But yeah, let's make some changes because it just doesn't suit me. Let's go with. Well, I'm just going to go with the formation, but I absolutely love it. It's a custom one of what I do. 4 for E2 1, but like turned into like a 4 2 1 2 1 or something. Um, so Kostic can stay. Uh, Matic can go there. Kolarov can stay there. I think it's going to be Tosic that's going to come off. Actually, this guy is a bit knackered, but he's going to stay on. So take Tosic off and bring on Markovic. Also, I do want to bring on Milivojevic, um, which we could do. Oh, I, actually, I need to change you around. Uh, can this guy play Cam? He's he's all right. I, you know what? I'm going to put him in there. Take off Tanic, put in Milivojevic. I think that could be good. And I think I'm going to try Jajic for Kostic because he hasn't really done much. Making all three subs at half time just to change the game up. And let's see how we can do. Serbia looking for... To get off to a good starting group, he has our Costa Rica because I feel like these are the two teams that probably are going to go out in the group stage because of the likes of Brazil and even Switzerland with the likes of like Shakiri who can just like bang him in from anywhere if he wants. But anyway, into the second half, Matic has done, done very well. Is he going to get it back? Yes, he is. He's able to turn. Serbia could actually do alright, they've got an okay squad, I wouldn't say it's like one of the leading teams, but they've got a team of like decent Premier League and um, like European based players. This guy, I can't say, I was going to say his name just then because he was like probably one of the standout players, but I'm, can I call him just Savage? <laughs> Joel Campbell has come on for Costa Rica, okay that's a decent little sub, get a bit more pace, this is the goal scorer who scored like very early on he hasn't really got any options right now Brian Ruiz there he is oh Urena okay that, that wasn't great to be honest okay now is the break on for Serbia no it isn't Markovic messed up and I think that Mitrovic just ran into him like he just did there to try and win the ball back Mitrovic has actually been alright in this game He's he's been solid to be honest Okay, we've got Joel Campbell who is going to add that pace like I've already said. Is that is that going to be Nastas? Oh, it's Ivanovic away. Okay, Matic not, not being able to hold the ball with with a bit of a physical tussle with Joel Campbell there. Have they got a chance here? Yurina. To be fair, in the second half you'd probably say that it's been more Costa Rica, which is fair enough. It's, it's fair enough. I could see this ending as a draw, but it depends how I play me. That could de <laughs> determine that. Okay, a draw wouldn't be too bad for these two teams because, like I said, I expect them to both go out. It's nice to get a point in your first game in the World Cup. Oh, is that gonna? Oh, it's gone all the way to Calvo. Brilliant by the right back who is absolutely drained. To be honest, so let's pass it off. Let's keep hold of the ball. Got Markovic there. Yaich. Go out wide. Look, can we get in across? Kolarov has got a good left foot. And it looks like Mitrovic. Oh, it's wide. There's probably someone you want in the box at that stage to head it. It probably would be Mitrovic because he's got a good head on him. Still very young, like I've already said. But he's got a good finish on him. He showed with Fulham on the way to getting promotion to the Premier League that he can score goals. So is it written for him to get a goal late on? But it looks like, oh, that touch wasn't too good. I was going to try and hit it then. Milivojevic, I, I would have thought that was a foul, but play on. Into the last quarter of an hour of the game now. Brian Ruiz, Joel Campbell. Guzman, Matic, that's a poor touch. And Brian Ruiz, can he capitalise? Oh, this is good passing. This is good passing, but... oh. Okay, you nearly caused your own danger then, Serbia. Right, anyway. Last 10 minutes. Is there a winner in this game, whoever it's going to be? Pass it on. Got Matic. Markovic. Mitrovic. Jajic is on the run. He's got there. Mitrovic. Oh, good save by Kalor Navas. 
He's probably keeping Costa Rica in this game because they've had a couple of chances on Markovic with a foul. Ah, oh. Mitrovic had a very good chance there, and that's probably one that you're going to be kicking yourself for not taking. Unless he's going to have a chance here. Mitrovic, has he got a chance? No, well blocked. Oh, well, well done then, Mitrovic. Unlucky that didn't keep possession there with that interception. Is there one more chance for either team? We're in the last couple of minutes before extra time. Costa Rica are going for it, and quite rightly so. This is the World Cup. You've got to take your chances, and it's a poor shot, and that might be it. Unless, like, there's a mistake here. Oh, there is a mistake. I didn't see Brian Reese going, and there's a free kick right on the edge of the area. Brian Ruiz is going to take it. He could send Costa Rica into raptures. Oh, it was not him. Oh, it's a poor free kick right into the wall. And that should be the end of it. Yes, it is. It is a draw between Costa Rica and Serbia. Honestly, I did say that there was a bit of action in the first half. But in the second half, it wasn't. It didn't have many chances whatsoever. So, overall, it probably is one of the worst games of this series. But... You're going to get those, but like obviously, like I keep stressing, once we get to the latter stages, once we get to the knockout stage, that's when the games will really heat up. But there are some good matchups, and speaking of a good matchup, Germany is the this is the first chance we're going to have um, to see them. They're going to be in Mexico against Mexico in the next game, and like I said, it doesn't really follow a pattern of doing like the because uh, we just had a Group E match between Costa Rica and Serbia. We realistically should have had the next game, which is Brazil, Switzerland, um, but it's just gone on to Group F. It, it just mixes and matches, which is fine. It don't really matter because in the titles, I, I say which group it is, so you can see that. And obviously, yeah, next game is going to be good. Hopefully, it's a lot better than this one. But look at looking at this um, group in Group F: Germany, Mexico, Sweden, and Korea. This is going to be a very good one. And if you think of the standout players for each um, team right now, you'd probably think, I don't know, for Germany, there's a whole host of talent in that. I'd probably say someone like, uh, probably Timo Werner is probably the one to watch in for Germany. For Mexico, you'd probably say uh, like Chicharito or Lozano. Someone like that. For Sweden, obviously without Ibrahimovic, you'd probably say Lindelof at the back. He's not bad. And then obviously for Cray, you've got Son Heung-Ming, um, obviously uh, Tottenham's winger. Uh, but we are actually starting, well, actually I'll say in three or four episodes time, that's when we could get our first sighting of England um, in to kick off their World Cup. But guys, if you have enjoyed this episode between Costa Rica and Serbia be sure to leave a like rate and subscribe you know leave comments of what you think of the series um do you think that well what, just tell me things you like about it what things you don't like but until next time guys goodbye <laughs>